guys and girls, new project car. Audi TT Mark 1, 1.8 turbo. Um, I've been sorting some little issues out on it, mostly age related, you know, you crack breather pipes and stuff like that. Um, I'm fixing some of the, uh, the issues the previous owner had because it had been played around with, hence the new diverter valve and everything that's been bodged together. And I noticed that the alternator wire that leads to the high voltage fuse box was red hot to the point where I couldn't touch it without burning myself. So I had a look at it and I've fixed it and yet all I want to do is show you how I fixed it and uh, hopefully it's going to save you some money. Okay, so step one, take off the three bolts that hold the cover on. Now I've been lucky that I've spotted this before my fuse box has melted. But it's quite common for these fuse boxes to melt across the top here. So this is me alternate cable that I said that gets really really hot. Opened it up and I've inspected it and I'll get you a, a shot of it in a second and there's no burn marks or anything but it, there is definite definite high resistance in this circuit because because of the temperature that was coming off of it. So 10 mil. Oh, it's freezing. The other thing I noticed was the um, the nut that holds this cable down is discoloured. So there must be a lot, a lot of heat going through this. Okay, so cable's off. And the first thing I did was I noticed that, come on, focus. I noticed that under here, it had all blackened up. And um, so I've sent, I've, I've got some sandpaper and just, as you can see, clean that joint up. The same with, let's get you a shot. Now this washer, you can see there that's loose, that had, God I can't even get it off now. You get the gist. gist. Um, that washer had corro almost like a corrosion. It wasn't a corrosion. It was more of a, a burn, burn kind of um, blackened charred effect. So I cleaned that up, and the fuse. Put it all back together, and now it runs a treat. Temperature's gone right down. Now it's exactly the same temperature as all the other cables. Um, I know. A lot of people have been speaking about this isn't a thick enough gauge cable. Well, it is because there's lots of cars out there that haven't got the issue. It's just purely over time, maybe a little bit of water ingress or movement has allowed it to arc and cause the bottom or effectively all the contact just to just to char up. So just clean it up, and you'll be good to go.